Can we go to Proverbs chapter 22, verse 9? To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. He hath, he that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed. For he giveth of his bread to the poor. Okay. Some people may wonder, how can they get blessed? And it really isn't that hard. In this life, I believe we all are going to reap what we sow. I think, I call it the law of reaping and sowing. So, I believe that law is in constant effect. Some people may be in so much lack right now. Ultimately, I believe if you haven't, if you haven't already, give your life to Jesus Christ. Be obedient to him. If you choose not, even still, I believe if you are willing. Now, this is talking about food here, right? He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. I think this goes beyond food. I think you can give money, food, your labor, your time, advice. I believe if you do those things plus more for the benefit of others, I believe you will reap what you sow. If you are selfish, if you are the type to manipulate people in a bad way, if you are self-absorbed, and care mostly about yourself? How can you expect to be blessed? Yes, I believe God will reign on the unjust as well as, I believe God will reign on the just as well as the unjust. So I believe the righteous and the sinner will obtain things from God. Yes, I believe so. But how can you expect to be blessed if you choose not to bless other people? This is not only about, how can I say this? Reaping and sowing is not only about money. It's not only about food and water and stuff of that. I think it pertains to almost everything when you are doing it for the benefit of others, I believe. Do you understand what I am trying to say? So I will reap good things if I am out there doing good for others. If you did not understand what I was trying to say earlier. If I am going out and giving money to people for food, I believe I will reap what I sow. If I am out there teaching people about God, spending so much of my time teaching to people, I will reap what I sow. If I am out there showing people a positive attitude, I will reap what I sow. Likewise, if I am out there being rude 
bitter, hateful, stealing, cursing people out, choosing to have a bad attitude, I believe I will reap what I sow. So if you want to become blessed, give yourself more to people. Give yourself more to God. Don't sit there and complain and say, Kevin, you know, I don't have good shoes. You know, I am, I don't have a job. I have this problem and I have that problem. Why can't someone come to my life and fix all my problems, Uncle Kev? Listen now, you can do something. Go out there and be a benefit to other people. He that hath a bountiful eye, huh? Someone that is generous shall be blessed. For he giveth of his bread to the poor. So he is doing something to get back. I guess I can say. How can I say that better? He is doing something for others. Now he has or he will be blessed. So if I have lack in my life, let me not whine and complain and ask God, why is this happening to me? Well, that may be a good thing to do is to ask God what is going on if you don't know. But there is something I can do. I can go out there and do things for people for free. I don't have to benefit in, in an earthly way from me doing things for people. Let me be a benefit to them. Let me not be the type of person in order for me to do something for someone, they have to pay me full price. Otherwise, I am not going to do it. I think so many people are selfish. Very, very selfish. And if you are that way, I believe you are reaping what you have sown. So I think it will be a benefit to you to not be selfish. Man, let me stop here. God bless you.